Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see types of tenders. What are the types of tender? See, the first type of tender is open tender. Now what is open tender? Let me explain you. Open tendering allows anyone to submit a tender to supply the material or provide services that are required in construction. What is open tendering? It will allow anyone to submit a tender. There is no limit that contractor should have this, this capacity, he should have this, this experiences, so and so, this, this, this and the, or there is no rule anyone can, uh, there is no special rules for submitting the tender. Means uh, there are some tenders in which there are some special works tenders that are open to only limited uh, contractors some special types of equipments will be required for that particular work so it is not not like that it is open to all and generally an advertisement will be placed giving the notice that contractor is being tendered they will be giving an advertisement in the newspaper that contract is being tendered offering an equal opportunity to any organization to submit a tender any organization can apply for that particular tender and open and open tendering is performed in both the private and government sector we can use it this type of tendering it is generally used for both cases in private sector as well as in government sector we can use this type of tender and the owner post tender request in local newspapers with the necessary specifications and the relevant suppliers respond to it what he will do the owner who wants to execute his work or who wants who wants material for the construction of particular work so he will request in local newspaper with necessary specifications that this 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 is my requirement i want to complete my project in this this days so if anyone is interested they can code their rates and they can apply to that particular tender and relevant suppliers will respond to it so this is open tender this type of tender is most common type of tender for engineering and construction industry remember this this is the most common type of tendering and open tendering provides great competition among various contractors it is very competitive now because it is open to all anyone can submit this tender so it is very competitive now the next one is negotiated tender see negotiated tender negotiated tender are extensively used in engineering and construction industry commencing from tendering till dispute resolution this type of tender is very helpful and it is extensively used widely used in construction industry from tendering process till the dispute resolution this can be used and this process consists of series of negotiation processes including pre-contract negotiation, post-contract negotiation because as the name says it is negotiated tender. So there will be negotiation process before the contract that is pre-contract negotiation will be there post-contract after the contract uh, has been signed that is post-contract negotiation. So as the name says negotiation will be there. So negotiating with a single supplier may be appropriate for highly specialized contractors or for extending the scope of an existing contract. See, negotiate if you are want to negotiate with someone for single supplier, it is a single supplier, it will be very good. It will be very appropriate. For example, there is some highly specialized contractor. He can fulfill your demand. He can execute the work for you, construction work for you, or he can supply the material in a very good rate so you can negotiate with him by the negotiated contract since the contractor is a part of the project team at very stage of the project this results in better communication and information flow this type of tender now the next type of tender is selective tender so what is selective tender see selective tendering only allows suppliers to submit tenders by invitation this type of tendering will allow the suppliers to submit the tenders only by the invitation. They will be invited 
दिस सप्लायर्स आर दोज हु आर नोन बाय देर ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड टू बी सुटेबल फॉर द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर साइज पर्टिकुलर नेचर एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी रिक्वायर्ड मीन्स देर इज सम वर्क विच कैन नॉट बी ऑफर्ड टू अ कॉमन टेंड कॉमन कॉन्ट्रैक्टर इट मे रिक्वायर सम स्पेशल स्किल और सम पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसेस और द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विल बी वेरी बिग दैट स्मॉल कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स कैन नॉट कंप्लीट इट कैन नॉट एग्जीक्यूट इट और यू कैन नॉट गिव इट टू द न्यू कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स नेचर बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो वॉट यू विल डू यू विल इन्वाइट सेलेक्टेड कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स ओनली फॉर कंप्लीशन और फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर वर्क और फॉर सप्लाई ऑफ मटेरियल्स वट एवर इट इज सो दैट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट टेंडर इज कॉल्ड एज सेलेक्टिव टेंडर and selective tendering gives clients greater confidence that their requirement will be satisfied because they have in their hand na that whom to select who who they can select for example a particular contractor can fulfill the requirement or not that they will know so they can send the requirement or they can select that particular contractor so they have that feasibility so they will have confidence that their requirement will be satisfied and fulfilled and it may be particularly approximate for specialist or complex complex contractors where there are only few suitable forms it is it may be a very, very particularly approximate because there are some specialist there are some complex contractors they are very few okay so however it can exclude smaller suppliers for those trying to establish themselves in a new market there is one disadvantage you can say those contractors which are new they have talent they can fulfill that requirement they can execute that work they can supply the material which uh, that particular owner or client want but as they are new they will not be considered so that is one disadvantage for selective tender that is one disadvantage you can say and selective tendering is an invitation to selected suppliers only as i told you it they will be have invitation that this this is work suitable for as per you so you are invited to submit the tender for that particular work companies often employ this practice to ensure the quality of service those companies which you which want quality work for a particular work they will employ this type of tender method then the next method or next type term tender term tender is practiced mostly on projects that need continuous maintenance for maintenance work we will use tender uh, which tender term tender this often comes with definite time constraints as the name says it will have some term time limit definite time constraints will be there and the project has to be completed within predefined scheduled because it is a term tender the project has to be completed within the predefined schedules and term tendering usually refers to the process where governments and private firms invite bid for the large projects that must be submitted within a definite deadline there will be definite deadline in which government and private firms invite the bids for large projects and that must be completed and that must be submitted within the definite deadline by the contractor now the last type of tender is limited tender this type of tender see what it is limited tender is addressed to a limited number of contractors and only those can quote their rates they this type of tender will be limited to only limited number of contractors limited number of people and only they can quote their rates and this is also known as restricted tendering as, as it is a limited tendering so this is also known as restricted tendering or selective tendering and see the basic characteristic of this method is that competition is confined to a certain number of firms either because only a few firms are qualified to fulfill the specific type of requirement or certain conditions warrant the use of a limited number of firms in order to reduce time and cost of selection process see what it is saying the basic characteristic behind that is competition will be very confined there will be very 
few number of contractors who can code their rates because it is addressed to very limited number of contractors because the type of work may be a specified work specific type of work will be there special type of work will be there in which only a few contractor that can fulfill that requirement and can fulfill the or can execute that particular work so it is a limited tender that is addressed to a very few number of contractors and see what it says certain conditions warrant the use of a limited number of firms in order to reduce the time and cost of selection process certain firms what they do they don't want to waste time and money on in the selection process so they will limit the number of contractors because see ultimately if you are allowing so many people you will have to scrutinize it those uh, submitted tenders you will have to scrutinize it time and efforts and money will be lost so they will offer it to a very limited number that is called as limited tendering so this was the video on various types of tender thank you